Besides all the big, living things in the world, humans, animals, insects, there are many tiny creatures, called bacteria, that you need a very powerful microscope to see. They come in all kinds of shapes and colors. The more common shapes are rod or bacillus, round or coccus, and spiral. Bacteria live everywhere, in the water, in the soil, in your shoes, and even inside you. People often call bacteria germs because some of them can cause disease, but many others do useful jobs. They eat human and animal wastes, they eat garbage, make soil from leaves, rocks, and roots, destroy harmful chemicals, and help humans and animals digest food. Let us join Bob and visit some of these bacteria. Bob is a rod-shaped bacterium. He lives in the soil beside plant roots in Farmer Brown's field. His job is to eat roots and leaves. One day, Farmer Brown was pulling weeds. Suddenly, Bob found himself on the farmer's hands. He was frightened. He had never been away from his home in the soil. Then he heard a voice say, Don't be afraid. I am a bacterium that lives on Farmer Brown's hands. You will not be harmed, Bob said. I did not know bacteria grew in places other than the soil. The bacterium told him, There are not many bacteria on skin, but bacteria can grow just about everywhere you look. You will be surprised to see all the places where you can find bacteria. Farmer Brown picked an apple. Bob found himself on a soft brown spot on the fruit. It was full of bacteria. Bob asked them, Who are you, and what are you doing here? They replied, We are the bacteria that make food rot. Bob replied, You are a lot like me. If bacteria did not eat other organisms, eventually the world would be covered with garbage. Farmer Brown went to the pump and washed his apple. Bob was quickly swept off the apple, into the water, and landed in the basin near the base of the pump. The basin was lined with bacteria that had a blue-green color. Bob asked these bacteria, Why do you have a blue-green color? They replied, We are photosynthetic bacteria. We make oxygen from water. Bob thought, These are very good bacteria. He knew he needed oxygen to live. Just then, a cow came and drank from the basin. Bob went down the cow's throat and landed in the first compartment of the stomach, the rumen. Who are you? Bob asked these bacteria. We are the bacteria who live in the cow's stomach. We help her to digest food, they said. Bob was having trouble breathing. There was no oxygen in the stomach. These bacteria do not need oxygen to live, but Bob does need oxygen. Bob knew he had to escape quickly. Suddenly, Bob felt himself moving back up into the cow's mouth with the cud. Achoo! He was back in this field. Now Bob knows a lot more about other bacteria. He was very happy to be home.